Okay, so these are the nine seven notes. Um, if you were in class, you would have had the exploration, and that's actually where all of these notes appear, or all of the theorems, I'm sorry. These theorems appear there, and you went through an exploration where you discovered them, and then we went about proving them. In the video, I'm not going to go through the explanation. If you're interested in that, you can come see me, um, look in your book, or check online to see why. Mm -hmm. So these are our theorems. When two chords intersect inside a circle, the product of the segments of one chord equals the products of the segment of the other chord. So you'll see here, A would be from the intersection point to the edge of the circle. B would be this segment. C is this part of the chord. And D is this part. So if you're trying to find a segment, a part of the chord, or even the whole chord, it would be A, this segment times this segment, A times B, equals C times D. It came from similar triangles, and again, we work through the proof in class. When two secants are drawn to a circle from an external point, the product of one secant segment and its external segment equals the product of the other secant segment and its external segment. The important point here is A is from that point, the vertex of the angle, until it gets to the circle. So it's this part outside of the circle. That's segment A. B is the entire length of the secant segment from the vertex to where it comes out the other side of the circle. C again is from the point on the circle to the vertex and D is the entire secant segment. It's not a part to part like it was up here, it's a part to whole. You need to have the whole thing. So A outside segment times the whole secant segment equals outside segment times the whole secant segment. And then over here, when we have a secant and a tangent segment are drawn to a circle from an external point, the product of the secant segment and its external segment is equal to the square of the tangent. And again, the focus here on the secant segment is B is that external part that goes from vertex to the circle, and C is the entire secant segment. So if you need to pause on some of those and draw those to make sure you have those, please do. Next, we went into some examples. So what I would like you to do is use those theorems that we just had, and I would really like you to push pause and try these on your own and then come back and check the answers. So please push pause now. All right, first thing I do is I look and I say, okay, I see two chords. Two chords are intersecting, and the theorem says the product of the segments of the chord equal the product of the segments of the other chord. So I have 3 times x equals 2 times 12. Okay, I simplify, and then I solved to get x equals 8. Over here, again, I'm checking what I have. I have a tangent and a secant segment. The 6 is going from here to here, and the 18 is from here to here. So this is the key. The tangent squared is equal to the external segment times the entire segment. So please make sure it's not just 18, it's 18 plus 6. If you go back, um, rewind a little bit, you'll see that in the picture we did. Again, I simplified and I solved and got that x equals 12. Again, the important part, you guys tend to go part to part instead of part to whole. Here are some more problems you can try. I'll show you these. If You can push pause if you want to copy these down. And the other problem is down here if you need to copy that one too. So as you're about to try these, make sure you're checking what is making the segments and going back to the theorems. You're just learning them, so make sure to go back and use them. So please push pause now and try to solve them yourself. Okay, so here I have two secant segments, and the important part is external times the entire secant, secant segment. That's where the 12 is coming from, 4 plus 8. For the other, it's 6, the external segment, times the entire segment, which is 6 plus x. I solved that equation, and I got that x equals 2. In the next problem, there are two chords, so the product of the segments of one chord equals the product of the segments of the other chord. So I set it up, 3x times x is 3x squared, 
and 6 times 8. Set those equal to each other. Divide both sides by 3. You get x squared equals 16. And then the square root gives you x equals 4. It actually gives you x equals 4 and negative 4, but we don't use the negative numbers in geometry. On the last one, this is kind of a two-parter. Um, you may want to start with both se uh, secant segments. That's what I did. So I did 4, the external segment, times the entire segment. Again, that's where the 9 comes from. External, which is the 3, times the entire segment, which is 3 plus x. You need the whole thing. The whole thing. And then I solved the equation and got that x equals 9. For the next part, you can either do this secant, secant and this tangent or this secant that you now know and this tangent. It's up to you. I already knew that 4 times 9, which was using this one, was 36. That's how I jumped to here. Equals the tangent squared, y squared. So, sorry, that should say y equals 6. So you have to pay attention to what you know. The biggest mistake that I tend to see is not doing the whole segment. It's always external times the whole. And that concludes the notes for 9-7.